Princess Mila. Are you ready for your luxurious bath? Look, we got your double candles. Double candles with a double candle wick. Yeah, don't mess with it. You, you know, they're just to look pretty. So your bath is luxurious. The water needs the water to dry. Oh, what? You don't want it to be too hot. All right, Princess Mila. Go ahead, baby. Princess Mila is taking over Monkey Boo's channel today. She said, I'm going to take a bath on Boo's channel. A candlelight bath to be kind of ASMR, kind of relaxing. Yeah. She said, I love baths. It's really cold outside here in North Carolina. She, she said, this is nice and warm. I like it. And after she can snuggle up in a nice warm blanket. Yeah, I'll mess with her. Yeah, let me get a little bit of soap for her. Is your happy? Does that mean happy wants a bath? Is happy want to take a bath? He said no. <laughs> oh, good. I think clean. Yeah, yeah this is so good. Is that water not just a little bit hot there? Clue. The smoke in here. I had to get her tail. Oh, there we go. She said, that was hot. Okay, it's better. I got to get her backside. Hold on. We don't show me the backside, do we? No. We don't do that. No. She says, I'm a girl. I don't, I don't show my butt. Let me wash your belly. Oh, yeah. Touch your hands. To the feet. Let's see me those pretty feet. Look. Her feet even look like girl feet compared to Boo and Happy. <laughs> You're all girl, little me. Yes. Okay, so... Look, everybody says you need to get one of those, uh, this brand name, I can't remember what it's called. But you need to get one of those, oh, uh, actually we got one. Wait a minute, I mean, do you like the shower mode or that mode? Oh, are you going to do the shower mode? Okay. Boo prefers just the water beating down in one spot with that. Needle's relaxing. She's having a nice shower. Oh. Yeah, you know, I think it's what, I, I'm pretty sure we've been going less than three minutes and I pretty much already give you a bath, baby. I'm going to check your ears. I'm going to show everybody how clean your teethies are. Yeah. How pretty you look. we got to wash your face. Yeah. Let me see. Oh. She's like, Daddy, why do you not have one of my bath cloths? You know what Mina likes. I'm sorry, baby. Let me check. Let me check for boogies. No boogie. No, nope. Is there a neck? Oh, I hear that. She's really relaxing. So, who wants to hear Mila's story? So, guys, here's the story with Mila. Um, I was. Really good friends. I'm still really good friends with Mila's former owner, and she's she's young. She's honestly she's actually younger than Ty. I became I got to be friends with her family. I know her dad really well, her mom, um, you know, and and I actually when me and Boo were traveling, we actually got to spend some time and hang out with them and. This was before she had Mila. I just had, she, they, but they got to meet Boo. The daughter was dead set on getting a monkey in. You know, parents were like, don't do that. You shouldn't do it. Um, like I said, she was young. She was, you know, really, she's Ty's age, so she was, she was probably mid-twenties, early mid-twenties at the time. And so she was dead set on it and like I'll give her credit monkeys are really expensive this girl worked her butt off and saved up the money to buy Mila and the whole time I'm telling her it's more than you realize I was like I know you've hung out with Boo and you got to be around Boo for a few days at a time and 
and it looks really easy. I was like, you gotta understand, this is what me and Boo do. Like, Boo's really good at this. Like, better than most monkeys I've been around. She says, not really enough. <laughs> so, against my advice, she got her. And she did, as you can see, Mila is a phenomenal monkey. She is so sweet and gentle. You're done being washed, baby girl. Yeah. So, like I said, she's really, really, really super sweet. She's a phenomenal monkey. And this, like, everybody keeps asking for Mila's story. And, like, sometimes I think that people just want to hear something tragic or something bad. This, honestly, Mila's story is not really a bad story. Uh... Her mom, you know, she was she was young when she got her. She had some things in life that had changed. You know, what she was wanting to do in life had changed. And that's what happens when you buy a monkey in your 20s because you hadn't made those decisions like that. And please don't mess with it. I'm gonna slide them back, baby, so I don't want you to get by. It was just to make everything nice and cool for me, like, yeah. Candlelight. So, like, so like I said, she had some changes. And, you know, she actually called me about six months before I got Mila and asked me if, if she, you know, decided to, that she couldn't do it anymore. Because this is a really trying thing, guys. It's 24-7, and you literally do not have a life outside of this. If you're being true and fair to your monkey or monkeys, that, I mean, that's just what it is. Any monkey owner will tell you. We're going to be doing a video, and I'm actually going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go around and, and talk to some other monkey owners and, and a, a couple people who actually own sanctuaries where they, they take in rehomes and, and go more in, really in depth about some of this stuff. But I, we're just going to talk about Mila's situation. So she went through some changes, you know, in, in her life and, you know, different direction, things she was wanting to do. And... She just wasn't able to spend the time. I mean, for one thing, she had to. Work, it changed to where she was having to work a lot more. That was one big change. That was probably one of the biggest factors. And the way you know, sometimes life can be really strange. Like it wasn't going to be to where anytime soon she wasn't going to where like oh, I'm not going to have to work. I can stay home with my monkey all the time. So, like I said, we had, we had discussed it. If, if she made that decision, would I take Mila? And, I, and I've been around Mila a couple times. There's some old videos of Boo and Mila together playing. Look at her. She's so sweet and cute. And so after six months, she called. We, we, I mean, we talked a lot during that six months and discussed it. And, you know, I told her, you know, like, think about what she was doing. Just like I told her to think about getting a monkey. And, you know, she finally, she called me and she goes, you know, I love Mila. The, the three years I've had her have been awesome, but she said, I really should have listened to you. And and I was like, well, you know, what's going on? And she said, it, it's nothing that's bad. She goes, it's just more than I can handle right now with everything that's going on. And she wasn't able to spend the time with Mila. And it got to be an ongoing thing. And she realized that it wasn't going to get any better anytime soon. So... She asked me if I would take Mila because she knew that I would take care of her and she would have a great home and Boo and Happy would love Hey, baby girl. <laughs> and Boo and Happy would love her and she and she would be very, very well taken care of. I have an a outstanding vet that I go to. Actually, I have a couple that I use, but one, my main vet, he is absolutely great and she knows that. Uh, she knows that be very loved and you know she actually watches some of the videos she's seen you guys shower Mila with so many gifts and like Mila like pretty much she's gonna at the new house Mila's gonna have to about like, have her own personal monkey girl playroom <laughs> I never thought I'd have a monkey daughter but I do I love her she's gonna be with us forever yeah she loves Boo and Happy yeah so that's kind of her story that like I said I know everybody was expecting something really bombshell bad and like so many people was asking I know a lot of people are just curious to know baby they just wanted to know but you know I, I, I there were so many people asked I, I feel like some people just like wanted to hear a bad story you know there's some other monkeys I can tell you about that I didn't take that are bad stories and I can tell you those stories about them you know, turning four years old and just, you know, all of a sudden, because they hadn't 
been trained right and they didn't accept somebody as the alpha, they turned on them. And it turns into a lot of stitches, you know, a, a capuchin, even a capuchin without canines can do some some pretty good damage. I got, I got, I've been bitten by a few monkeys, guys. <laughs> not, none of my own, not, knock on wood. But <laughs> I've been bitten by some others. I've been bit by a capuchin with no canines. And let me tell you what, she, uh, she, she put a pretty good hole in me. I've been, you know, I've been bitten by a pretty good sized spider monkey, a pretty good sized macaque, a couple little marmosets, <laughs> and maybe even a squirrel monkey. Never Ollie. He's, he's kind of nipped at me playing. He, that's how Ollie likes to play with us, engage. But monkey bites hurt. <laughs> and, it, and you can't flinch. And that's a, it, like, it, if you understand that, like, because it'll tear your flesh. And so it's, to train yourself when you're getting bit by an animal to hold still, like, it's incredibly hard to do. Ain't that right, Mila? She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I would never do that. No, Mila's a really sweet girl. But that's, you know, her story just... Her owner was young, had a you know a change in life, and she realized that she was going to have to be working, <laughs> you know, and that's just how it was. And you know, when you work a full-time job, you cannot take care of a primate. That's just it's not going to work like that. And so, like I said, she I, oh she works a lot too. So she asked me if I would take her because she knew it'd be a good home and. As you guys have seen, it has worked out wonderfully. She's fit right in. Come here, baby. Come here, sweet princess. Oh. Are you dried off all the way? Are you dried off all the way? And she, like I said, she loves it here. We love her very much. She loves everybody. She loves my son, Ty. She's kind of adopted him. Yeah. And she loves all her toys, and she loves all the fans. And she said, I love all the attention I get. And if you guys have watched any of the male videos that Mila does, Mila is all about opening some mail. Mila is like, to her, that's like a woman going shopping. Like, the box of mail come in, they have her name on it. Mila's like, oh, I'm going shopping today. Let me let me see what purses I've got and what new pink blankets I've got and, and tutus and cards and everybody loves Mila. So, there you have a little candlelight bath with Mila. And there's Mila's story. So. People are gonna keep asking. They may not see this video. If you see other people asking, send them to this video or just tell them, you know, what I told you. It's just, it really, like I said, wasn't a, it wasn't a tragic thing or anything like that. So what do you think, Mila? How do you like it here? You like being part of the Monkey Boo Crew, huh, baby girl? Do you like it? Tell everybody how much you like it. I love you guys. That, well, oh, she's giving the camera a hug. I'm gonna give her a tear, cause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? The tickles? Okay. <laughs> You're so sweet. Look at her. She's holding on. Is it hold on to me? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, all right, Mila. I love you, baby. Oh, I'm going to get my kisses. And a big hug. Yeah. Up on my shoulder. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to ask more questions about her story in the comments, we'll try our best to answer some of them, but that's pretty, that's pretty much it. Like just a simple change in lifestyle is all it took for them not to be able to keep this monkey and take care of it properly. And, and they love Mila and they wanted what was best for her, so they did the best thing. They sent her to live with Pete, the monkey whisperer. Yeah, tell me, I love you guys. All right, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video.